what is up guys my name is Fat Nitro and today I've got a pretty quick tutorial and all you're gonna need for this tutorial is this font called Bank Gothic and all you gotta do is double click on it go on this on the .ttf file and then just click install I already did it so I'm not gonna do it but what you're gonna do is um, so this works on kill cams and trick shots and I'll show you two methods so first of all I have this clip and I have a marker where I want to apply the effect so I'm just gonna duplicate the layer and then sorry wrong way I'm gonna trim it up because if I hit control shift D with Contasia it gives me this little marker tool then I'm just gonna apply a simple Twixter Pro and the frame rate is 59.97 and then versus the smart plan keeping the speed go over one frame and hit it to 10 okay so now we can zoom in a little bit and I'm just gonna hit U on my keyboard. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new, actually I'll just get my text tool and then I'm just gonna type in plus zero. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab the font that I want. So bank gothic. Okay, that's the same font that they use for Modern for Two, so you can kind of see the resemblance there. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my arrow key, my arrow tool, whatever. I'm gonna drag on a simple fill. Simple fill, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna eye drop the yellow. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is get a drop shadow. Drop shadow, drag it on. And I'm gonna make the distance a bit uh, a bit less maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll put it to 3.5. Okay, so that's good. And now we practically have the same thing and we could just add a bit of pixelate onto this. So go to mosaic, because if you look here, it's kind of pixelated and this really isn't. So just add a nice mosaic. And I'm just gonna put this to 1280 by 720 and then I'll adjust it afterwards. So I'll just keep bringing this down to make it a bit blurry. Okay, so I think that's good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the layer here. Actually, no, we're going to trim it. We're going to find where there's no text on the screen at all. So that, I want it to start right here. Okay, so I'm going to go over back a frame. I'm going to center up my text. So it goes about here. I'm just going to scale it up and have position at the same time. I'm going to scale it down. It's not, sorry, scale it down. You guys know what I mean. Okay, so that kind of overlaps it, so that's good. Plus zero. Keyframe is position and scale. And I'll go over, uh, I think 60 frames is good. Okay, then what I'm gonna do, oopsies. Grab my, um, whatever this thing is, a selection tool. And I'm just gonna scale this up a lot. Maybe not that much, but I want it to be much bigger than the plus 350. So it's basically covering it. So now now you can see that it says plus 350 in the background and it kind of like looks gross. What we can do to try to avoid it, we won't avoid it completely, but with the if you had a color correction, you can make it look like that's not there that well. So I can add a glow. I'll just get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these. And I could make the glow threshold. Oh, not that much. That's a little gross. I could just leave it like that. And what I can also do is add a nice fast blur. Okay. And I'll put this to three. Okay, so now I've blurred it a bit. And repeat edge pixels. Okay, so now we have it blurred out a little bit. And what we can actually do because he shoots right there, I could make the effect happen here. So I'm actually just gonna delete that. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this over all the way to the end. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna duplicate my layer, trim it here, and then trim it there. And I can add my Twixter onto there. So you have to be uh, you have to be careful because there's gonna be a lot of warping unless you do it properly. A lot of warping in the gun because his gun's going down right now. So that's why it's not really the best like time to do it. Full speed. 
And I'll go to like one or something. Yeah, so something, so it's not that warpy, right? Looks all right. And it comes in, it says plus zero. And obviously I'm not gonna make it that big. And one second, someone's at the door. Okay, I'm back, so what you're gonna do is, um, obviously the Twixer is really warpy, but hopefully your clip, um, the guy doesn't have the gun going down like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Whew, sorry, I just ran up the stairs, man. The stairs are hard. I'm just joking, but um, I'm gonna drag the keyframes over. And I'm gonna go here, and it goes down a little bit afterwards. Okay, so it goes boom. And I'll get easy, easy, easy. Okay, I'm gonna right click on it, not click F9, cause that stops my recording, or pause it, or whatever. Okay, so now I have it, and that's about it. Now, we're gonna do example number two. So I like this method better. You do it in the kill cam, and what you can do, well you can do a few things. So first, I'm just gonna trim it here, and trim comp to work here. Then I'm gonna duplicate my layer, and on this one, I'm gonna get the this little uh, rectangle tool. I'm gonna get the rectangle tool, and I'm gonna cut out this area. Okay. There we go. And then I'm just gonna hit P, drag it. What did I just do? Exclusion. Never heard of that. Okay. So drag it over top. So now it kind of looks like it's uh, just overlapping it. You can't really notice the difference, and obviously, I can uh, feather this like to two pixels, something not too bad. Okay, now what we can do is we can add a text, and my text is gonna say Clark Olas is a noob, because you know, you know, guys, Clark's a noob, right? Okay, so Clark Olas is a noob. Uh, there we go. And I'm actually just gonna go over and I'm gonna take my drop shadow, my mosaic, my glow, and my fast blur. I'm gonna take all those, so. Except I don't need my fill. So I'll just control C and I'll control V. Okay, actually, I'm gonna take the glow off. That's not necessary. And yeah, the fast blur isn't necessary either. Okay, so that's good. And I can maybe adjust that a bit. Okay, so we're good for that. Okay, so I could have it say Clark Glass is a noob, which, you know, guys. Then we're going to have him, he gets this shot right there. And right there, I can make another text layer. Just grab my text tool. And I can say plus, sorry, plus, not equals, 1337. And I could uh, scale this up a little bit. Okay. okay. Grab my selection tool, and I'm going to grab all these. Uh, shift, Control C. And I'm just gonna apply them to my plus 1337. So now it looks the exact same. Okay, I can just minimize these because it, it makes me pissed off when they're open. Okay, so now he hits it right there, and I'm gonna trim the 1337 right there. Hit S on my keyboard and P. So Shift P. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four. And I'll keyframe it, so I'll, I'll adjust it to everything. Keyframe it, and I'll go back to 10, make it a bit bigger, like that. I'll go back 30, and I'm going to scale it all the way down, and put it at the top. Okay, so now if I just uh, do a quick ramp preview, I'll put this on half. So now I hit the shot, and it's a plus 1337, and it like bounces. And you can also add text saying like, I'm awesome or something like that. Because all you need is the bank gothic and then you're good to go. So now we have kill cam. This is Clark Glass is a noob. And boom, plus 1337. And we can have it fade off or whatever like they do in the actual game. So that's about it for the tutorial, guys. I'll have the download in the description for bank gothic. And I will see you guys later. Actually, before I go. Before I go. Okay. Uh, I have... I I, un I installed some stupid uh, tab thing by accident, and it makes me really upset. And then it does this, and it makes me want to cry. But uh, we're going to go to Clark Glass's channel. If I can spell it properly. And we're going to go 
and we're gonna get him to 150 subs because you know guys um i don't know about you but if you guys are into his gameplays he him and his friends they went 250 to oh in shot in hard point in a public match and then in league play they went um 250 to three i'm pretty sure so they're pretty good at hard point i don't know what's wrong with them they're crazy and he also does edits every now and then so yeah so that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Click the last channels in the description and as well as the download link for Bank Gothic. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye and have a nice day.